Drop the book. Yes. What's up, guys? It's Jeff Chan from Memory Shredded, and today you'll be watching me train Snoop Dogg. Just kidding, this is John. He looks like Snoop Dogg. So I had a, a lot of positive feedback on my previous video with Andrew Fung from the Fung Bros. And the comments were, you know, you guys felt like you were doing a private lesson with me. You guys got a lot of tips from just watching me train Andrew. So I thought I'd recreate that kind of video. And I'm gonna be training my boy here, John. And hopefully you can get some of those little gems that you got from Andrew Fung's video uh, the same way from watching me train John. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, as well as subscribe to John's channel is Snoop Dogg dot dot dot. I'll link it in the bio below. So again, we always want to think about our distancing. So if we extend our arms, this is our outside range. So obviously when we're on the outside range, if you just extend your jab, can't hit me. So we have to step in with that footwork. So yeah, exactly. Yes. So when you throw that cross, see how you slid off to the side? I really want you to focus on a common mistake is for it to drift off the side. I really try to pop it straight in the middle. Okay. Yeah, pull the left shoulder back. Perfect, just like that. And see how you're like super tight? Be, be, be nice and loose, be nice and loose. Yes, there. remember on the outside, you're gonna step in with that jab and freeze. Boom, good, now two. Perfect. So now let's work on uh, the pullback. So pretty much today we're gonna work on throwing cross and exiting out after throwing across. Okay. Right, every time you throw a punch at me, left hands up, where are you most open? My right side. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to hit you, so you're gonna pull back. Good, but yeah, pull that back quick, nice and tight. Yes, that was good, but see how you're leaning a little bit more? Mm -hmm. One, two, and you're kind of coming like this. Mm -hmm. So now look, my waist behind my legs. So when I pull back, we don't want to lean, because now I'm using all my core to pull myself back up. Right. I want to use my legs, my footwork, to step. And look how, although I'm leaning, my chin is tucked and I got my legs behind me like a tripod. I'm using my, my legs to help me load back up for the cross. So I guess if any Muay Thai guys do that. They, they, we, could, we could do that, like I said, but maybe a high kick comes, boom, and we throw a low kick. Uh. But if we want to set up that punch, and we come here, I don't have that. I'm going to go one, two, step. Oh, you step? Yeah, step, chin down, then pop. Your right side face is open, so I'm going to try to hit you with the left up. So you're going to pull back, yeah, and then now where am I most open? On your left. Yeah, so you're gonna pop with that cross. You want to step more, less leaning. Step more. Less. Beautiful. So it's okay if you get hit. You just gotta make the adjustment. Like you gotta get hit to, to learn. Bum, 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 bum. See how that drifts off the side? You point that finger so it goes right through. And really sit on your punches. Bend your legs. Yeah. Boom, boom. It's very important that the rear foot doesn't slide forward, as you already know. You know, everyone teaches that. Mm -hmm. Why? Because uh, you lose power? No, it, it actually, you gain more power if, you, if it slides forward. But if you throw the cross and it slides forward, now you're off balance. Off balance and I can. Uh, that way, because it's planted on the ground, you can pull back to evade the hook. Let's work on bottom weaving. So, okay. I'm sure you've done a bottom weave before. So, yeah. one, two, under. weave yeah. under. Let me see how you do it. One, two, weave under. Same idea, you throw the cross. Yes, exactly. Same idea, the hook can come. You're anticipating the hook, so you're gonna weave under instead of pulling back. That's just a different way to exit out. Okay. Now, when the weave was good. I want you to keep your back a little bit straighter. Try to make a U with your body. Bam, bam. Now, the, the one thing that I don't like is watch. If I throw my one, two at you, boom, boom, you throw your left hook at me. See how I'm still in place? Mm -hmm. So now if you throw your cross, technically I'd be open. We wanna weave under when we wanna get into a pocket, when we wanna close the distance. So okay. for example, look, if I throw my one, two at you, you're gonna throw your left hook. Okay. Boom, boom. See how I just closed that distance? Yeah. Now I'm in your pocket, I can. <laughs> idea is we wanna weave under when we want to. Get out of the. We wanna want close the distance close in the, the distance pocket. pocket. Gotcha. Think of like Mike Tyson, he tries to weave under. Oh, okay. Yeah, so watch up here, look, I'm nice and blade. I step in, one, two, you throw your left hook, boom. Now I'm here. Ooh. And I land in double leg. Shoot up, oh! One, two. Nice and long section. Now look, this is the this is a section. Because we want to close the distance and we want to shift forward, I realize it's gonna slide forward. And now we're gonna weave under. Yeah. And then step again with your left leg. Boom, boom. Step forward into southpaw, weave under. Yeah, weave under, yes. And then step forward with your left leg again. Perfect. And don't be scared to take a big step and you want to get your shoulder right into my armpit. One, two, 
Yeah, good, nice extension. Slide that right leg forward, weave under. Boom, good, and take another step forward, perfect. This is a very bad position for me because what? What can I do to you? You can double leg me and you have the angle, exactly. So from here, see how your left hand was is in here? Mm -hmm. I like to personally keep my left hand outside of the hips. That way from here, look, you can uh, shoulder bump me, like punch me with your shoulder. Yes, so the uppercut, boom, and then the left hook is already loaded up, bang. Whether I slip the jab or I get into the pocket, for example, throw the jab, if I slip and my left hand's here, look, now if I want to throw the hook, I gotta draw a big circle before I hook. Oh, okay. On the other hand, throw a jab at me. Boom, look, if my left hand's up here, bang, I can hit right away. So that's why, personally, and again, it's not wrong, I don't like the, the Philly shell where my hand is here. I like it out here. So again, my left hand, if it's outside of my left hip, no matter what, I can throw that hook really fast. So say you throw the jab at me, pop, bang. Here's another thing, look, if I keep my hand here, if you throw a kick at me, I can't catch it. If I keep my left hand here, boom, I can catch it. Boom, boom, yes. Yes, good, step, and then shrug that shoulder. Boom, uppercut, boom, boom. When you throw the hook, throw the hook and freeze. See how your, your arm came out here? Mm -hmm. I want you to stop it here. Okay. You don't want to overcommit and give your back. You just want to come here, bang. Wider, draw a bigger circle on the hook. Bigger. Yes. Yes, but see how your elbow came over here? Mm -hmm. Not here, just stop here. Oh. Perfect, and then you can add that cross. One, two, weave under. Yeah, shoulder stroke. Bam, bam, bam. Back on the other side. Extend your arms, boom. So watch, check this out. Boom, boom, and you're gonna try to get in my pocket by rolling under. But I'm gonna maintain that chest to chest distance. If you step forward at me, I'm gonna step back. I gotta maintain that distance. Oh, it's like uh, the mirror drill. Mirror, mirror drill, yeah, mirror, exactly, exactly. So back on the other side, look, if you step forward, and I don't step back, I'm in danger. Right. It's as simple as that. So if you were to step forward with one, two, boom, boom, I'm gonna back up, but I'm gonna try to counter at the same time. Yes, I'm gonna still came that distance. Instead of, yeah, instead of throwing the uppercut, you're gonna throw the cross because I've, I've kept that distance. So the drill now is one, two, under, cross. Bam, bam, boom, bam. Now let's add that cross across. One, two, under, cross, cross, cross. Bam, bam, weave under. So, we worked on two exits so far. What's the first one? Uh, the, cross. The, the, the pull back. Second one is? The bottom weave. Bottom weave. What do you think the third one is? We go backwards, we go left. We, we went backwards, I went under. Uh, left side. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this one helps a lot when my rear leg slides forward. Right, so say we're super far here. And I step in with a light, nice long one, two. Boom, boom, and I like over commit. If I just stay here, as you know, boom, I get countered. One, two, right leg slides forward. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna land, step, step, now I exit off to the side. So we see Mayweather and uh, Manny Pacquiao mm -hmm. do this in their fights when they overcommit on the punch. Boom, boom, check this out. I'm gonna pull you forward, okay. and your right leg's gonna drag forward, but your left foot is gonna stay there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Watch, I'm gonna pull you forward, land, freeze. Now you're gonna push off that leg, step off to the side, and then do a quarter turn. Just like that. Boom, boom, I'm gonna slide you forward. Step, step. Yeah, there's a rhythm. Step, step. So one, two, slide, step, step. One, two, slide, step, step. Yes. And I know in JKD, I remember uh, uh, Sifu Eric, you know, they say, or he likes to mm -hmm. not make a noise. I like to personally scrape the ground. I like to feel grounded. Okay. So when I do a quarter turn, look, look, look listen to my feet. One, two, Yes, that was awesome, but do it again slowly. And drag forward. Now look, look how close your head is. Uh, so you okay. said you watched the Andrew Fung video. Yes. Remember I talked about head off center line? Yes. Triangle cross, yes. same idea. Look, go one, two, keep your head on center line. It's too easy for me to throw the punch. Okay. Now do a triangle cross. Boom. Yes. Shol loosen that shoulder a little bit. Yes, chin down. Perfect. Good. Now look how far you are. So now you're gonna, you hit me, you slide your leg forward, slip that, and go boom. One, two, ah! Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. I want you to turn your head all the way until you pivot. Look at my head. One, two, look, I'm turning when I'm looking at the camera. Look, I look at the camera all the time. That's perfect. Another way is you throw your one, two. Boom, boom, where are you most open? Right side. 
So I can throw my hook, I can also throw my jab, mm -hmm. or left straight. Say I'm southpaw, you throw your uh, one-two. Boom, boom. Watch, I'm gonna throw my cross, you're gonna slip to the side. Yes, yes, exactly like that. And, beautiful. Try to not go like this. See how you're like sticking your butt up, right. like Instagram model? Look, <laughs> we're just gonna crunch. Boom, boom. Uh, and stick your butt just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, be on the balls of your feet. Boom, nice and tight here. Bang. Boom, boom, slip. Yes, and pop. Yeah, shot him alley. Yeah. Two. Huh? Beautiful. You got another one. Boom. Boom. Look. From here, again, it's very important that your head is off center line. Because if you take your head on center line, you're not going to be able to react fast enough. Okay. But you take your head off center line, watch. I might throw my cross. So all you're going to do is dip. Yes, exactly. Now let's give you a big level hook. Yes. So here's an uppercut. Here's a hook. Your liver goes here. I want it like right here. Curl that wrist. Give me a nice wide, like Corey Sanhagen style. So here's an uppercut. Here's a hook. I want to hit the clean like a stamp. Yeah, each time it's. I want to go right into the liver. So I want to hook up a diagonally. Yeah, upwards. And it's like nice and wide here. So I come. I, I go my one, two. You throw your cross, but I'm so far away, I slip. And I dig and boom! Yeah. And we can add the hook yeah. into that cross. One, head off center line, good, I'm gonna cross, dip, bang, yes, load up again, hook, cross. A little bit less wide of a stance. Actually, it looked kind of better. Remember, really, 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 try to, look, I like to point that, that knee. Yeah, right here. A little bit tighter, good. Yeah, a little bit more bladed. Yeah. Knuckles tight, good. Bladed here, good. Step and bang. Yeah, a nice extension. Boom. Yes! Good. Yeah, what's that eyebrow? So if I throw the cross. Yes. The reason why I don't want this is because now how do, you, how do you block that punch? Right. It's blurring your vision. It's got to be here. Instead of checking, I know obviously you have a wide stance, it's going to be hard to lift the leg up too. But, throw it again. Boom. Make sure your hips back. Boom, yes. Keep your hands up though. Boom, yes. Yeah, that's it. Cross. Yeah. Perfect. Good, good, good. Okay. So, now oh, let's, oh, add, let's add the... Uh, I don't know if you know. Leg kicks hurt. It's so hard. Comments, right? right? Because eventually one person's gonna like they can go one to a hundred, like hundred. That's true. That's true. You can't write it more than twice. Oh, boy. Ah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Don't kick the knee!